dear traveller, stay a while and listen. I am the Swan Puncher, known on this world and plane of existence as Crackfist the Wizard. That's me, waving at you, looking at me. Excellent. Let's continue. I'm here with my brave companions. The Tall One, that's just what I call him because he's short. Uh, he's a dwarf. He has a kobold killer weapon. A golem cleaver, so he likes killing both golems and kobolds. And Legless, the eternally drunk dwarf, who is the bane of my existence, I'm afraid. He touches me while I sleep, and uh, I'm not happy with it, but there's not much I can do. As a wizard, I'm open to such things, but I must be wary around him. So, that aside, I'm going to start this episode, if you would like, of by going and looking and trying to buy a simple chest and seeing what wonders we uncover. Oh my! Reinforced hide armor, level 3 common heavy armor, and humming hide robes. The hell do they do? Dimensional Traveler. Attach this card to yourself, duration 3. At the start of each round, you move one, teleport. Wow, that's very nice. Um, but I cannot equip it. I don't think. No, I, I cannot. Anyway, that aside, let's uh, jump in. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this voice up, but uh, the lair of the Trog Wizard, he's an old adversary of mine. So I'm going ah. to leap in. Oh, fuck off. You goon. At last you have found the cursed mind orchestrating this reign of tyranny. A trog wizard, no less. Here he is. That's the trog. Why has the trog wizard got a shitty knife? Okay, two exciting battles. Recommended for levels two to three. We're two to three. Let's jump in. Come on. Oh. Could you pass the soda, please, the swan puncher? Diet soda? Ooh, who brought that? Well, I don't know. That's the guy running the game, DM. Let's ignore him. Yes. Come on! Into the battle! Ambush! We're ambushed. Oh no. God, look at these fools. All these seven hit points monstrosities. They ain't gonna do nothing to me. Right. Yes, let's go. And... Oh, I can't get past that bit. Okay, I'm going to leg it around here. Okay. Actually, why am I moving him? Okay, well, I've already moved him. So... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, damn it, annoying me, I can't undo that. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's, let's move him. Woo! And I've just been stabbed because of my poor, poor movement skills. Right. Shoot that guy. Excellent. It's him nearly dead, and let's make it change it nearly. Excellent. While these guys are falling to my blade, my magic is too strong, and they are fools for even thinking they could take me on. Move him up into close range and get stabbed. Annoyed in my armor doesn't come on. Yeah, suck on that fool. Okay, I don't really have anything else I want to do, so I'm going to pass, because he hasn't passed, and hope he passes. Yes, excellent. I need to discard a card. Let's discard the, the rubbish armor. Brilliant. Okay, so we've now got a decent amount of cards. Move him up into close combat. Okay, I was worried what was happening then. Right. Okay, they're stabbing me. But they really are about to die. Okay, this one's stabbing me. Aha! But I'm going to stab you harder. Okay. Excellent. That's two of them down. He's going to scuttle away. I like the Zoidberg esque icon that comes up. I keep saying esque. I need to find a different word. Okay, let's run him along here. So he's got line of sight, because in order for him to be able to use his spells, he needs to be able to see people. Fun enough. Bang. Okay. Right, and now our priest, who has yet to feature really heavily, although he was one of the two survivors of my last fight. Right, come on. Kick him in his face. 
Oh, it, it was my baby. Okay, excellent. I don't really have any anything I can really do to him because my no, I'll cancel that and pass. Right, and discard the rubbish medicine because it's just going to be me killing him this round, hopefully. Okay, he's moving away. But he can't move that far. Annoyingly, he can't hurt him. And can he get through? No, he can't. Okay. Should be able to get around this way and at least cut off his escape. Okay, he's just stood there, and now he's dead. Oh, he's got tough height. Ooh! Well, that didn't help him. Okay, we're through. We've vanquished our foes. Victory, power, flaming fist. Brilliant. Onward. Have you eaten all the Junior League chew? What the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. Uh, please enlighten me if you're aware of Junior League chew. It isn't something that I've ever seen or heard of. Okay, so we get a chest. Come on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Level 3 robes. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? Damn it. All these things look really tempting. <laughs> um, yeah, this might be the episode where I finally succumb and buy uh, the membership. Okay. Oh, that's quite a good weapon. So that's four, four damage attacks. And what's he get from this? Oh, the three penetrating. I quite like those. Nah, I'm, I'm going to sell that. My brother Melvin says that a good DM, a GM isn't distracted by food mid-session. He says it's about focus. That guy, he is always talking about food and his fear of women. Um, so he loves food, but he's afraid of women. And I'm not quite sure what a combination, you know, I don't think that's going to lead him very far in life. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's exactly what he needs. Okay, so I don't want to use my massive ranging stride. I'm going to pass the first turn because I like to I like to do that so that they then have to move and get nearer me. I'm going to pass the second turn as well. And, okay, they stabbed me. Okay, well they're unlikely to move now so I can at least move in range. And I want him to be there so that even though I'm in range of one of them uh, I can still kill this one. Okay, so sample strike. Oh, that's him hurt. And they're still moving these guys up. And I'm going to cut that one. Excellent, he loves that. Right, so that guy, that guy's a trog scuttler. So they've only got two cards left. I don't know if any of those are movements. I'm going to wait a bit and then I'm going to drop the hotspot right on him so that I can instantly kill him. Who's that guy? Trog wizard. Oh, he's quite weak. Okay, well I probably want to kill him. Um, insofar as I want to kill everyone. Okay, I just moved my wizard into stab range. That wasn't a great idea by me. But he can now actually shoot this guy. Okay, how did that do? Excellent. I hit him. He's down to three health. Come on, sucker. You ain't getting away from me. Uh, my turn to play. Um, okay, well, I might as well kill... Um, I might as well kill him just so that he's dead and then I can run him and I'm going to run him up into close combat with the trog wizard he's then legged it away as I thought he would and then he is going to go up and he's going to go here ok he's been stabbed right? I don't have any attacks as this guy so I might as well heal someone yeah good times ok he's passed right well, I'm going to use Hotspot, which does 8 damage to someone at the start of the turn, and I'm going to use it on this guy. So next turn, when he starts, he's going to take 8 damage. He's just passed. I've just passed, so he's about to take the 8 damage and die. Okay, so I didn't even need to do much about him. Uh-oh. Cr Crundy Up shoots Crack Fist with a bungled bolt, taking 1 arcade damage. Damn it. Curse you, you vile fiend. Okay, I'm going to move my dwarf up here. He's now in combat with both these guys. Uh, the wizards run away. Um, I tend to do that, damn wizards. But I'm going to shoot him with my own bungled bolt. I don't know if it's related to Zippy and Bungle, but um, the cast a rainbow. But um, if you're not aware of that program, uh, 
George talks a little. No, he doesn't talk like that. I was trying to do an impression there off the cuff. He talks a little. No, he doesn't. He doesn't talk anything like that. Um, but you know, <laughs> I didn't really have an impression prepared for him. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to come up. So apologies for how bad that was. Uh, I'm going to pass this turn. I can't close with him. I've used up all my movement. I need to discard cards. So let's discard. Oh, why am I discarding a tag? Also, I've done it now. Okay. Right. Actually, what is telekinesis? Is telekinesis a movement card? Oh, okay, I can slide people. Okay, well, he's going to walk into combat with him. I want to flank him so that I'm at least cutting off his route of escape. Oh, God, this guy's a coward. Uh, I'm going to move him up into combat. Come on, you can. it's a wizard moving as close. Actually, no, he doesn't need to. I'm just going to make his avenue so that I'm threatening all those squares. And then shoot him. Okay, I can't see him doing much. Let's shoot him again. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, okay. Okay, he's only got seven health left. I'm going to use telekinesis on him and move him there. So that he's now in combat. So he's now moved away. But that's good because I know that he's used up all his, he's got to have used up all his movement. So I can now move in, close with him, and kill him. Really? That's pretty much it. So, I'm going to go for the Able Bludgeon first of all. His first armor fails. Yeah, ah. Oh. Okay, but he's, pre he's pretty much dead, surely. He's not going to be able to come out of this. There's not going to be any way that he survives this mystically. Okay. <laughs> come on, I've only got three health. Don't mess with me. Yeah, sucker. Okay, adventure complete. Well, we've done that little mini adventure. Yeah. That's not a mini reference, I'm not trying to sell the car. Trogs have been crushed and oh it's late, we might have to save this next bit for next week's section. Well, let's collect the loot. Oh damn it, so close. Yeah, level 3. So he, what equipment does he get now? Divine item. Do I have any divine items? Let's hope I do. I don't. Okay, never mind. I do, the interface for this is really, really easy to use. Ooh, what are you? Okay, oh, what are you? Witch Doctor's Axe. Okay. Well, that's not too good. Um, ooh, that looks interesting. So, level 3 uncommon weapon. So, a chipped dagger. So, it gives me a block and it gives me a lot of penetrating strikes. Whereas that gives me a block and what are the stabs? The stab, or the stabs are range 2. Uh, which I do quite like because I do occasionally need that. Whereas that, okay, I'm probably going to sell that as well, so I'll do that in my sell section. Then, level 4 uncommon weapon. Wow, that looks... Lunging hack, 2 damage, step 1. When you play this card, you immediately move 1. Oh, that is good. I quite like all those. Um, ooh, 6. Oh, that's, that's got to be got to be worth it. Right, I'm swapping those, swapping those around. Great, so I'm going to be able to move a lot more. And I've got level 2 boots, which give me some other movement things. I don't. I quite like the fact that I've got the dwarf with the wild run, so he can charge into combat. Um, his boots are all right. Yeah, and they're not worse than that. And his boots are pretty good as well. So I'm probably going to sell those boots as well. And the level one staff looks pretty awful. So let's go. Okay, so that was that adventure. Ooh, Cuthbert's yeah. costumes. It lets you change the appearance of your characters. So there's going to be things that I come across. You deserve a new figure, so I'm going to give you some pizza from my private stash. Um, can I get out of that and spend it somewhere else? <laughs> can I? Will it let me? I'd prefer to buy it. Okay, so I can... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to mess with me, but I've just uh, used the pizza he's given me for that to um, buy something else, because I don't want a costume, I don't, I don't really care about costumes. Ah, oh, look at this stuff. So, level 12 rare divine icon item. Ah, oh, Neophyte's Cleaver, level 4 common divine weapon. So it's a lot, of, okay, two chops. Targets discards their oldest card. Does he use a normal weapon? Oh, okay, so he uses divine weapon, so that's a common divine weapon. So that gives him the drain types of 5, 2. And um, that's 5, 1, but she's up to 2. 
Okay. Um, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. What else do I get? Level 13 common divine item. Wow. And level 5 common divine... Oh, okay. Oh, that can go there. Brilliant. So what does that give me? Demonic feedback, um, inspiration, and minor heal. Target draws two cards. You take five points of unholy damage. Wait, why would I? Oh, okay, but it's got, I can draw the card. Okay. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Target character draws a card. May self-target. Oh, that's good. And uh, what is that? Level five common dwarf skill. So do I have dwarf skills yet? No. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. Um, in fact, I'm going to buy another one as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to use the money for what they want me to use it for. Come on, let's have a rare. Okay, a level 9 dwarf skill. Okay. Uh, level 4 uncommon robes. Um, who uses robes? Do you not use robes? Oh, maybe you're not level high enough level yet. Um, well, it would seem weird for it to be level 4 and you not be able to use it. Okay, he doesn't seem to be able to. Do you use them? No? Um, okay. Okay, not quite sure who uses those. Um, okay. Tarnished prayer beads. Oh, what do they do? Oh, cowardly. I don't really want that. I don't like the ones... Some of them have negative uh, effects as well. And I don't really like equipping someone with a negative effect if I can avoid it. But if the weapon's unbalanced and uh, OP, then I'm surely going to do it. But I'm... Uh, not so fussed about this thing, so I'm going to sell that. Then we've got the supplicant's hammer, I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, level 3 common heavy armor, so that's handy mail. What's handy mail do? Armor 2 on a 3 plus, but I've got armor 3 on a 4 plus at the moment, so I'm not really fussed about that. He can't use that. Okay, he can't use that, so I might as well get rid of it. Uh, red robes. Yeah, who wears robes then? It must be the wizard. And I must just—he must just be not high enough level yet. Um, okay, well I'll keep those for the moment. Neophyte's cleaver. Uh, that was a sell. Wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I do want to keep that. Barking cap. Scuttle team. Push two. Free move other allies. Ill-fitting armor. Armor two. Keep. Okay, well that's pretty good. Encumber. Well, what is encumber? Whenever you move, subtract two move points from that number. Okay, well, that's interesting. Okay, so I've got a fair amount of items, but I'm going to review those and sell stuff when you know when I'm not recording, um, and just kind of crack on. So I'm going to go and see this one. If it's a big adventure, then I'll call it a different episode. But um, okay, so it's four battles. So I'm probably going to leave this episode as quite a short one, and uh, really just do it as an adventure at a time, and really see how we get on. But yeah, and go from there. So thank you very much for watching. I've been this one puncher. Like if you like, subscribe if you like more. Thanks very much. Bye.